Hi, my name is Melissa. I am the technology librarian at the St. Paul's Hollywood Library. And today I'm just going to give you a short little class on how to create an invitation. I'm going to use a website called Canva where it will allow you to actually create all sorts of things. You can print them out, order them through the website, or just download them to your computer and publish them to social media or however you like. But we're going to do a baby shower invitation today for a coworker of mine. And let's go ahead and get going. Okay, this is canva.com where you can go to create a design and you can make almost anything. Let me just scroll down and see I'm already logged in. It is a free account and but they do have a paid version and you will see some things that you do have to pay. But I'm going to scroll down and show you some things that it does. First off, it's going to show me my designs there, some things that I've done. You can do Instagram posts and posters, Facebook posts, logos, presentations, flyers, infographics, um, Instagram stories, Facebook covers, cards, and invitations, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to get to it from a different way. You can see you can choose templates and like invitation is right there. I'm just going to go to create a design and select invitation right there. Okay, now we go to the design page and this is where everything just happens there just magically. So we've got um, some recently used things. So I've been practicing for this class because we are going to do a baby shower invitation. Um, birthday invitations, party invitations, baby shower invitations. Now over here on the left, you see right now I'm looking at templates. There's also uploads and you can upload pictures that you can come back and use later or for, you know, you can use your own pictures. Um, photos, you can select that and use photos that they have. There's also different elements, um, text, like maybe you are doing a, you know, 22 year party or something, audio and videos, which I've never really played with, but we'll focus on what we're doing today, let's go back to our templates and I'm just going to search. We're going to search for baby shower invitations. Okay. And then they come up here. And so I'm going to scroll through these and select one to use just by, just by clicking on it. Maybe we can do that one, but that is how you select a baby and maybe we just want to switch still you see there they have a lot of different options and you can change them in a lot of different ways and that's what i'm going to show you next okay so we've got now i've changed i found one that i liked a little bit better so let's go ahead and edit this one. So there's a new baby to love. So I want to switch out this photo because maybe we've got a picture of this beautiful baby. So here is the photo I'm going to put right there instead. Oh, that's, that's darling, right? Okay. Um, so let's go and you can also search. Um, if you don't have some photos of your own that you'd like to use, you can just find like, we'll search for baby here. And there's some, now you see this, if you see this icon right here, this pro with the crown, that means it's not free. And you won't be able to use that unless you get the paid version. But um, this is super cute. So let's work on this. We need to make it larger so we can get down there and edit the, and I just found this, this photo just is a freebie, a stock image. Um, I like that. There's a new baby to love. Join us for a baby shower for, and those are not the names of our people. It's Savannah. You know what? We'll just leave it at Savannah because I don't know. 
Um, and you can change any of the, maybe it's actually, we'll change it to May. I think her baby shower is going to be in May. Whoops. May. And, you know, change the address and however you'd like. Maybe you need to add some text there. So let's, because we don't have an RSVP thing, so let's make it a little bit small. We can drag this text wherever we need it. Um, RSVP, whoops, it's typing in white. That's, that's not gonna work. Let's change that to, yeah. Okay, and we need to change the size of that, make it smaller, maybe move it around a little bit. Anyway, you get the idea how you can change that. We can also change the color because maybe we can find a better color for some of these things. So let's, um, you know what? And here it can look right, this is a cool feature. It can look at the colors in the photo and maybe we can add some different ones there. Um, let's change this, this color as well. Maybe just, anyway, you get the idea how you can change that. Now you've got this beautiful baby shower. Um, yeah, let's also change the background. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, we'll change it to, Ooh, black would have been cool with this and we could change all the font to white, but let's just make it anyway. But that's how you, you do that. So then what we would want to do is you can have the option to print the cards or you can just download. Now you can do it for PDF and print it out on your computer and cut it out and send it. Um, and it's suggesting that as an invitation. But what I usually like to do is a PNG, uh, make it a high quality um, uh, picture, a graphic. And then what you can do is send that to your favorite place um, where you like to get your photos developed. Also places like Walmart and CVS, they have these same sort of templates. You can go on and design and and make make a card that way and have it printed and it'll come with the envelope so you can send it out you can all go ahead and download that you can also have it and then you can post it on social media so we aren't going to do that but you can also post it on social media and advertise your party that way Okay, so now I wanna go show you some other things about Canva. Okay, I'm back here on the Canva homepage because there's just a few other things I wanna make sure that I've showed you. Um, so I wanna go back to my all my designs so I can click right here and it will bring me back to all the designs. You see, last year, my daughter was graduating from high school and I created her several different uh, graduation announcements and was able to use those. But let's go back to our baby shower announcement slash invitation. And maybe we wanna do a little bit more editing for this. I do wanna show you the elements section and maybe we can add just up load some really cute little baby sort of thing. So we can look through here and, um, no, it doesn't really go with our style, but these are kind of cute. So I'll click on those and we can make those smaller, move them around. I can change their color and let's do gray there and, um, other, Ooh, magic recommendations. You know, maybe we'd rather go with a bottle. We can just delete those feet. All of the feet were cuter. And maybe this bottle we can put down here. We can play with the colors on that. One thing I do want to show you this animate feature. This is new and you wouldn't be using the animate feature for any, um, print ones, it's not gonna work. It actually makes a little movie. So we'll click on animate and it has some different things to choose from. 
So let's just, you can hover over them and get a little preview. See, that's kind of cute. Um, okay, so maybe we want to do that. So the photo zoom is applied. And when I would download it, it's now going to be a video. I can download that though and share that to social media. And you can also add text and, and videos. Oh, we can also alter the background. Maybe we just want to go with the light blue. Um, I think the background we had going was a little better. Maybe something like, more like that. No, I don't like it. But you can see how you can, can play with the background and um, do some things with that. In fact, I'm going to use this lovely thing. We're going to undo, undo, and get it back to the gray and uh, give our invitation. Well, thanks for joining me today. That is how you make an invitation using canva.com. There are other sites that you can do that are similar. I've used Canva for a long time and I, I find it's easy and, and you can do a lot on it. Um, what I would do then, like with that invitation that I downloaded, is then take it to maybe walmart.com, which is what I did with my daughter's graduation announcements last year. I downloaded it to my computer, then I went to walmart.com, and they have a whole, you can do graduation announcements and stuff just like that on Walmart. They don't have as many choices or as many features, so I just uploaded that as a graphic, got it the perfect size, and uh, was able to, and they would print them for me, and it, it was not very expensive at all. So I hope this helps you. Go on canva.com, create a free account, and just play with that and have fun. Thanks for joining us. Please call us at the tech team if you have any questions. Thanks.